Hi kids! Today we will learn how to find out the LCM of two or more numbers with method which is called prime factorization. So let's get started. LCM means lowest common multiple. First of all, let's see what is a multiple of a number. We have a number 5. What are its multiples? Numbers obtained by multiplying 5 with any number are its multiples. Here, all 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. All the numbers that comes in a multiplication table of 5 or step counting by 5 are its multiples. Remember, 0 is a multiple of every number as multiple of a number is any number which we get on multiplying it with any number. And we get 0 when any number is multiplied with 0. 2 multiplied by 0 equals 0. So, 0 is a multiple of 2. 3 multiplied by 0 equals 0. So 0 is a multiple of 3. 12 multiplied by 0 equals 0. So 0 is a multiple of 12. So 0 is a multiple of every number. Now, here we have another number, 7. Let's list its multiples. We now know multiples of a number are all numbers that comes in its step counting, or its multiple. So, multiples of 7 are 0, 7, 14, 21, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, and so on. Now let's learn how to find LCM or least common multiple of 6 and 8 using a method that uses prime factorization. So let's learn it. We have to find the LCM of 6, 8. So we will do the prime factorization of 6 and 8 first. We divide all the numbers with prime numbers only. That is 2, 3, 5, 7. Starting with the smallest prime number, that is 2. And keep dividing till every number is reduced to 1. So let's start. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So write 3, put a comma. Now 8 divided by 2 is 4. So now write 4. Now again, we have to try dividing the resulting numbers by smallest prime number, that is 2. If any number cannot be divided by 2, write it as it is. So write 3, as it is, put comma. Now, 4 divided by 2 equals 2, so write 2. Now again, try dividing the numbers by 2. Again, 3 cannot be divided. Write it as it is. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Write 1 here. Now only one number, that is 3, is left. It cannot be divided by 2, so take next smallest prime number, which is 3. Now 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Write 1, put comma, and bring down 1. Now every number is reduced to 1, and we use only prime numbers. Now the next step is, Take all these numbers, which we use to divide the numbers, and multiply them. So, 24 is the LCM of 6 and 8. Now let's take another example. We have to find the LCM of 4, 12, 9, 30. So first we do the prime factorization of these numbers. First write the numbers like this. Now take the smallest prime number, that is 2. 
4 divided by 2 equals 2. 9 cannot be divided, so write it as it is. 12 divided by 2 equals 6, so write 6. 30 divided by 2 equals 15, write 15. Now again, take 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 9 cannot be divided, so write it as it is. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 15 cannot be divided, so write it as it is. Now, we cannot take 2, as not even a single number can be divided by 2. So take the next prime number, that is 3. If there is 1, simply write it as it is. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Now again, take 3. As one number is there, which can be divided by 3. Now we can't take 3 as no number can be divided by 3. Now next prime number is 5. Yes, 5 will divide the number left. All numbers reduce to 1 now. Now, next step is take all these numbers and multiply. 180 is the least common multiple. LCM of 4, 9, 12, and 30. So kids, this method is easier and shorter to find LCM when you have more numbers or bigger numbers. Okay kids, now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.